Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to build our model class. This will complete the core uh, classes, well not all of them, but this will we'll have the controller, the model, and the view after we're done with the next few videos. So let's jump in and start building the model class. Now this model class will be a parent class, meaning we're going to extend this with all of our application models. Um, and what, we're going, what we want to do is take a lot of the uh, methods that we created in our DB wrapper class and extract those even further to make things as easy as possible in our application to use um, and make it extensible as well, extendable. So here we go in our core directory. We create a new file and we're going to call that model.php and we'll open our PHP tags and go ahead and declare class model All right and we're going to set up some protected uh, some protected properties here right off the bat with cpb um, we'll say table we'll say model name um, we're going to say soft delete equals false and we're going to Add one more, and we'll do column names, and we'll set that equal to an empty array. All right. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is add a public ID, and then we're gonna instantiate this. So public function construct. Remember that's two underscores there, and we're gonna pass it in a table. When we construct this, and when this happens, we're going to say this db equals db hit instance. All right, and we're going to go ahead and say this table equals table. This uh, column names is equal to um, you know what we're gonna have to extract that into another uh, method so we'll go ahead and set that now so this um, set table columns alright and let's go ahead and do this model name is equal to um, write this out and then I will explain what I'm doing here. So we're going to set a model name uh, it's when we instantiate the class. And we're going to grab that from our table. And so when we pass in our table, um, our tables in our database are going to be lowercase and they're going to have an underscore. Um, so what we're going to do is replace, right off the bat, we're going to grab that table name and we're going to replace all the underscores with a space. Then what we're going to do is do UC words, and so what that will do is it will um, uppercase each word of that model, and then what we're going to do after that is uh, replace all the spaces with an empty, with no space, so it mushes it all together. So what would essentially would happen is if we passed in, um, if our table was going to be equal to, let's say user sessions, something like that, um, what, what we would end up with in the first part of this, um, we would replace that underscore, so it would, be, it would end up being user sessions, and then the UC words um, replaces the first letter with an uppercase, so the user sessions, and then we replace the space with a empty string, 
And what we end up with is our model name will be set to user sessions if our table were user underscore sessions. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Um, that's what we want. And so let's move on. The first method uh, that we need to write is this method we're using in our instantiation here. Um, so let's set a protected function set table columns. Okay, and we'll say columns is equal to this um, get columns another method that we're going to have to write here and then for each columns as column uh, we're going to say column name equals column Really what I'm interested in is the field. So remember that object that we printed out had the field property. So this column names will add to that column name. You could just do something like this. Okay, and then um, we'll say this, this, column name equal to null, and I'll explain this in just a second. So what this is going to do is set the set table columns. When this is instantiated, what we want to do in our model is grab all of our uh, columns out of our database and then we're going to set properties up and uh, we're going to set properties up and we've done this, if you put this here, so this and then curly braces column name will actually um, set a property on this class. So this model now will have the, each column name that exists in that table will be set to null. And then we'll populate that in a little bit um, with our methods and stuff like that and our update for methods. But for now, that's, that's what we want to do. Um, the next thing that we're going to need um, in order for that function to work is we need to grab our get columns. Um, and so what we're going to do here is create a public function. We might want to use these other elsewhere. So public function get columns okay. and this is just going to return this db if you remember our db we actually created um, a function called get columns and we just had to pass it to table name so um, in this instance uh, in our model, we don't know yet what our table name is, so we're just going to pass it this table. And that will be set up during our instantiation. So uh, we will know that by the time it gets to this method and runs it, but we're going to pass it in the uh, this table right there. All right, so that's the get columns. Um, I think I'm going to uh, wrap up this video and... Um, We've kind of just started the basics, uh, the, the framework here of our model class, and we've gotten it instantiated, and we're grabbing the column names, and we're setting up properties um, for each of those column names in our model class. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and do our find, find first, and find by ID methods, um, and then we will basically uh, create wrappers um, with our DB wrapper methods that we've already created to make it even easier to use in our models. So anyways, I hope you are enjoying this course so far. I hope you're learning something. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. So I'll see you in the next video.